Hey guys, it's the Villa Man and welcome to the channel. So recently I've unboxed and reviewed the Sony A8F and the LG C8, which are the top two OLED TVs on the market. So here we are with what could be the top LCD TV on the market, the Samsung Q9F. Stick around. If you like tech and home theater, then you've come to the right place because this is where we'll be unboxing and reviewing the hottest products. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that like button if you like the video. And don't forget to leave your thoughts or questions in the comments below. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. As always, I'll need my trusty unboxing knife. Again, it's not the size that counts. Another part of the stand. Let's see how many pieces this stand is in. If it beats the Sony. Here we have the user manual. User manual and the one connect cable. Now the good thing about this TV is that it's very thin for an uh, for an LCD TV because of the one connect box which houses all the processing hardware. Another piece of the stand. Here we have the quick setup guide. And the one connect box. This is the brains of the operation. Right, so now there's nothing else left in there. Let's get these tower off. So, just from how it was in the box, I can tell that this is heavier than the older TV, so let's have some help lifting it. My lovely assistant, everyone. Hey guys. All right, so let's get to it. So, as I've said before, it's good to place the styrofoam that comes with the TV inside the box to act as support. So when you place the TV on top of it, it's strong enough to support the TV while you install the stand. So the stand comes in three pieces. There are two feet and the one connector. So these connect, so this connects the feet together after you install it on the TV. It also comes with eight screws but I think we only need six, so we'll see. It doesn't appear to matter which foot goes on which side of the TV, so that's good to know. One. Now we place the connector between two feet and screw it in. Now let's see what's behind curtain number one. This is interesting. I'm not sure if this is for shipping or just for unpacking. Never seen that before. It's very different. So now let's unbox the one connect box. So 
here we go. It has an antenna in, the link for the cable, the one connect cable to the TV. Oh no, no, actually this is the link to the one connect cable that provides power and signal to the TV. And there's four HDMI ports with the audio return channel on HDMI 4, optical and LAN. Now we have the power up here. It's not extremely thick, but it's not thin either. It is glossy though. Now let's peel this thing off the screen. So now let's go through the ties and set up and see what that's like. Wow, that's bright. Okay. Hello right. and welcome. Please download the Smart Things app on your mobile to start TV setup. You may press the right button to set up the TV with the TV remote. I think I will set up with the TV remote. Thank you, Samsung. Please select your language. The accessibility function is available when you press and hold the volume button. just automatically turned on the receiver and switched the surround sound. Yes, Samsung, you may have my first barn, I guess. So it got my cable provider and my receiver model. Not bad. Those are the two things connected via HDMI right now. So my cable box, receiver, which has all the media devices, Xbox, PlayStation, Apple TV, and the network. Well, that works. You don't have to 
I'm pressing the channel up and volume down button on the remote and it controls the cable box right now. So there was no setup necessary to control the cable box, which is pretty cool. Very nice. I'm impressed, Sam, so. I think Daniel and Carol love Marina Turquesa. It's a modern building. You've actually got views of the ocean from there, so it'd be a brilliant place for entertaining the family. Marina Turquesa is a penthouse condo located in Puerto Aventuras, just steps away from... So it has an ambient light detector, which decreases the brightness, which I just saw it do, based on the brightness of the room so it's in. So I'm going to test the HDR capabilities real quick using the Apple TV 4K. So once I switch inputs to the receiver, which has the Apple TV connected, I get this menu saying to try HDR out for the first time. So let's see how it is without setting anything up through the TV. Okay, so it's saying there's no signal, meaning that it cannot accept the HDR signal that's being sent by the Apple TV. So there clearly needs to be some setting change within the menu to make it accept that signal. All right, so let's see what that is. All right, so... You have to go to the settings. Under general, external device manager, HDMI, UHD color. So we want that to be HDMI 4 because that's the ARC HDMI and that's where I have the receiver connected with all my media devices. One other awesome thing that this condo offers. Alright guys. Right Thanks for watching. Peace. Peace.